It's Monday the 12th of December. I'm Matt from Liquid Loans and these are your top DeFi newsworthy updates. We start this week with red across the board as the markets have all retraced, some more than others, with Bitcoin sitting at $16,950, down 1.1%, and Ethereum sitting at $1,247, down 2.7%, and with Doge, the biggest loser, down a whopping 15% in the past seven days at the time of filming. The relief rally in the US equities markets called over the past week as the major averages closed in the red, with the S&P 500 index dropping over 3%, but positive for the crypto markets as it hasn't followed the equities markets and dropped even lower. This indicates crypto traders are not panicking and dumping their positions with every downward movement in equities, and with Bitcoin in ping pong price action around the 17k mark since the beginning of December. With uncertainty rife in the space, worries related to coming crypto regulation, and threats of insolvency insolvency, bankruptcy, and more fallout from the FTX debacle, it's difficult to see certainty in any so-called indicators, and many are sitting on the sidelines and watching how things play out. Recently, Nigeria severely reduced the amount of cash individuals and businesses can withdraw as it attempts to push a cashless Nigeria and increase the use of the e-Naira, their CDBC. Last week, on December the 6th, the Central Bank of Nigeria issued the directive that individuals and businesses would now be limited to withdrawing $45, which is around 20,000 Nigerian Nairas per day, and $225, which is around around 100,000 Nairas per week from ATMs. This also applies to withdrawing from banks too, with individuals hit with a 5% fee and businesses with a 10% fee for amounts above those limits. The Director of Banking Supervision, Haruna Mustafa, noted, customers should be encouraged to use alternative channels to conduct their banking transactions. Adoption rates for the eNaira have been low since its launch on the 25th of October, 2021, with the Central Bank of Nigeria struggling to convince citizens to use the CBDC. And as it stands, less than 0.5% of the population have reported using the eNaira since its launch. Nigeria established its cashless policy 10 years ago in 2012, stating a move away from physical cash would make its payment system more efficient, reduce the cost of banking services, and improve the effectiveness of its monetary policy. According to a CDBC tracker, Nigeria is one of the 11 countries to have fully deployed a CDBC, while 15 other countries have launched pilot programs in which India is about to join the list later this month. So for now, we can put the argument to bed, will there or won't there be CDBCs? They're here already and also coming in droves. Kevin O'Leary, investor, Shark Tank judge, and CNBC contributor, said last week that he's lost all of the 15 million US dollars FTX paid him as a spokesman for the now collapsed crypto exchange. O'Leary and other celebrities such as Tom Brady and Larry David were sued by FTX investors who say the former ambassadors should have done more due diligence before promoting the crypto empire. O'Leary was grilled by CNBC in a recent interview with his association and promotion of FTX and said he fell prey to group Think and that the total deal was just under $15 million all in. I put about $9.7 million into crypto. I think that's what I lost. I don't know. It's all at zero. And then went on to say the rest of the $15 million had gone on taxes and fees. O'Leary heavily promoted FTX on Twitter and other social media platforms and continuously touted his close connection with disgraced founder Sam Bankman-Fried, who is now facing multiple investigations, with many still in shock that SPF isn't behind bars yet. This is another example of celebrities being paid exorbitant amounts to promote a service or protocol they know nothing about, but obviously there was enough zeros on the end of their deal to make them think it was worth their while. Trusting your money with any entity and losing it all 
Just because a sports star or TV personality endorsed it is an expensive lesson for anyone to learn, but has happened throughout the ages and continues into the 21st century with NFTs, shady crypto projects, and now centralized exchanges. Shares of the Grayscale Bitcoin Trust, the world's largest Bitcoin fund, hit a record high discount rate of nearly 50% compared to the price of Bitcoin on Thursday last week. GBTC is a way for investors to gain exposure to Bitcoin through a traditional investment vehicle, but last week was trading at a discount rate of 47.3%, according to data from crypto index provider Tradeblock. GBTC shares haven't traded at a premium to Bitcoin since March 20. 2021, and prior to that date, it benefited from strong institutional demand. Bearish sentiment surrounding the trust deepened over the past few weeks as fears surfaced that crypto trading firm Genesis Global Trading, which is owned by Grayscale's parent company, Digital Currency Group, could file for bankruptcy. Following the collapse of crypto exchange FTX, Genesis Global Trading announced on the 16th of November that it would halt customer withdrawals from its lending unit. Amid speculation about a possible filing, Genesis said in a note to clients last week that a resolution of the lending unit's withdrawal freeze is likely to be a matter of weeks rather than days. There were also more complaints that Grayscale hadn't transparently proven its GBTC fund reserves, which were covered in last week's DeFi news video. And on Tuesday last week, hedge fund Firtree said it is suing Grayscale to obtain details about GBTC in order to investigate potential mismanagement and conflicts of interest. We, like everyone else in crypto, pray that GBTC survives these turbulent times, if only for the sake of not dragging the entire crypto space down, which it could not afford off the back of the FTX meltdown. Many may see this as the writing on the wall, while others will say it's a bottom bear market signal. Let's hope it's the latter and they can get their balance sheet and act together pronto. This has been your DeFi update on Monday the 12th of December 2022. If you like update videos like this, do hit that subscribe button and that bell icon so you're notified every time we drop new videos on the channel. You can also tap the like button and share the video with someone who you think it may benefit. Thanks for watching and I will see you on the next one.